Hey everybody, I'm Mayhem, and this is Movies You Probably Missed. Number one, Taking Woodstock. There's a lot of joy in music, Mr. Yasker, and we'd love to bring that joy to your beautiful farm. Wouldn't we? This movie is about a young man named Elliot who goes back to his parents' home in upstate New York to help out with their failing motel business. When he discovers the original venue of the upcoming Woodstock Festival falls through, Elliot sees an opportunity, and the rest, of course, is history. Go see this thing. Go. See what the center of the universe looks like. After what he did to the Hulk, I'm not a big fan of director Ang Lee, but I did like taking Woodstock, even though the movie is mainly about the members of Elliot's family and not so much about the festival itself. But it stars Dimitri Martin, one of my favorite comics and not a bad actor, I might add. Number two, Coherence. There are pictures. Somebody you, you marked us. There's I'm trying what? to figure this it's, out. This is insane. And there are numbers on the it's, back. Hugh. Baby, what did you see? Hugh, what, Hugh? Did, you what see? did you see? Oh, Jesus Christ, man, you can't stand there not saying anything. What did you see? This was a pretty interesting low-budget science fiction movie from 2013. It's about eight people at a dinner party and an ominous comet that happens to pass over that night and causes reality to multiply. We're not at war with the house down the street. They might they might literally be the same people as Mike's us. Mike's saying, hold on, come hold over on. here and let's kill us. That's right. So Fuck you that. and Mike, let's I'm say, doing it hold first. on. If you do it first, do you know who you're going to fight? Mike. Mike. You. You're gonna run into you. The movie only cost about $50,000, and it was shot over the course of five nights. And while it's far from perfect, I mean, the camera work and acting are sometimes a little off, it's still an interesting and suspenseful movie that really captures your imagination. Number three, Pirate Radio. She likes the bearded man. She does indeed. With a tiny knob. Whatever. I've got a tiny knob, actually. But I rather like it. Means I can wear smaller underpants. Don't know what that means. I didn't understand any of that. This is a great British comedy with a whole bunch of terrific actors. It tells the story of a pirate radio station in the 1960s, which happened to be on a boat so they could evade the government. Even though some of the things you see in this movie are true, this particular boat never existed. So I'm proud to announce I will soon be the first person to say the F word on rock and roll radio in the United Kingdom of Great Britain. So here it comes, especially for you, the F word. If you're in the mood for some good old fashioned rock and roll and really fun acting, this is your jam. Plus it has Philip Seymour Hoffman playing one of his coolest characters ever. Number four, killing them softly. You ever killed anyone? No. You can get touchy feely. Touchy feely. Emotional, not fun, a lot of fuss. They cry, they plead, they beg, they piss themselves, they call for their mothers. It's embarrassing. This movie didn't do great at the box office when it came out and a lot of people I know haven't seen it. Which is mind boggling to me because this crime story is one of my favorite movies of 2013. It stars Brad Pitt, James Gandolfini, Ben Mendelsohn, Ray Liotta and Scoot McNeary. I'm telling you, if you haven't seen it, go do that right now. It has some of the best characters and great dialogues. Don't get me wrong, it's not perfect, but it's pretty damn close. And number five, digging for fire. I found this, which I don't know what that is. And then I found that, man. <laughs> what the fuck? This is another one that doesn't really seem to have much plot, but I still like it. It's about a married couple who are house sitting somewhere in LA. At the beginning of the movie, the husband Tim, played by Jake Johnson, finds a gun and a human bone buried in the backyard. After he's left alone in the house so he can focus on doing their taxes, he has some friends over. And after a few drinks, they decide to continue the digging. Bar what the fuck is that? It was right there. You just found that? Yep. Hold on, Adam. Let me see that. Are you kidding me, dude? It was right there. This is too weird for me, man. I like Jake Johnson as an actor. He's really good in this movie and the story was based on something that actually happened to him. And even though I didn't care much for the parts that don't take place at the house, it's still worth a watch. That's it for this week. Let me know in the comments if you've seen any of these and if you like this video, feel free to click on the blue M&M to subscribe. Until next time. Please, don't smoke in my car, please, come on.